This week, MVL Conference title implications could be determined as Maysville traveled to Sheridan. Both teams entered this game unbeaten in league play and Maysville unblemished all season. Would the Panthers remain the top dog or would the Generals march to the top spot? To help us answer that question, we go live to Sheridan High School with NBL reporter Morgan Overby. Now, Morgan, this game could easily determine the NBL champs. Wouldn't you agree? Keith, I couldn't agree more. This matchup was crucial for both teams. Like you said, Sheridan and Maysville are both undefeated in NBL play. And Sheridan head coach Paul Culver told me that Maysville is outstanding in all phases. And they would definitely be the toughest test for them thus far. Now Sheridan's biggest fan, he looks like he's ready to go out on the field himself and the Generals would have to use him. They would, they would have to use him for Maysville's first possession. They really did need him. 20 seconds into the game, Chase Roberts shakes a few tackles and goes 68 yards to the house to put the Panthers up early, 6-0. The Generals didn't get so lucky on their first drive of the game. Chase Heath, he fumbles it and Maysville picks it up on Maysville's next possession. The Generals make a huge stop on third and 20 and force the Panthers to punt. Sheridan takes over and why throw it when you can pound the ball? 11 straight running plays, including this eight yard touchdown run by Trevor Davison to cap off the drive. Maysville still leads nine to six. Late in the second quarter, Devon King makes a huge sack for the Generals. I can't express to you enough how big their defense was. The Generals were down 9-6 at the half, but they had the momentum they needed on the and on this first possession of the second half. Luke Fox throws a bomb to Justin Snyder, 44 yards for the touchdown. Sheridan leads 12-9. Now this is where it starts to get out of hand for Maysville. They go to punt the ball late in the third, but it would be blocked and Sheridan Zane Grant would pick it up. He was brought down around the 50. Now four plays later, Davison would pummel it up the middle for the touchdown. Generals now lead 18-9. Maysville tries to answer through the air, but the pass would be intercepted by Fox. He, the quarterback, he really does do it all for the Generals. He had two touchdowns on the night. Now the Generals were able to drive the ball all the way down to the five, and on fourth down, they try something a little different. Fox connects with Ethan Snyder for the touchdown. Sheridan goes up 24 to nine with eight minutes left in the game. Sheridan would go on to win 31 to seven, and the Generals scored 31 unanswered points before the Panthers scored late in the fourth, but that but by that point it was way too late, Keith. Wow, Morgan, a huge win for Sheridan. Many didn't think that would happen, but the generals proved that their defense is very tough. Well, they sure did, Keith. After the Panthers' first touchdown of the game, Sheridan's defense really stepped it up. They held the Panthers to just 107 rushing yards, but I think the most impressive part is that they held Jordan Hayes and C.J. Harris to a combined 29 rushing yards. Now Culver said they needed to stop the run in order to win, and that's exactly what they did. A huge win for Sheridan. Thanks a lot, Morgan.